Alright everyone, how you all doing today? We're taking a look at the Mortal Kombat plug and play uh, controller. Um, I call it plug and play because it's basically what you're doing. I know it's plug and play, that sounds stupid to me. So, um, yeah, deal with it. Jump down, jump up, uh, left, right, but then you have something very special about to the controller. Um, you've got your flip this way, you've got your flip this way, flip this way, this way. Um, so you have four different directions you can flip in, four different directions you can move in. Um, it's very cool, very helpful. Um, something at the arcade that probably should have been a little bit more helpful for the arcade players. Um, although the controls look uh, complex, they're very easy to get used to. You've got your high punch, you've got your low punch, you've got your block, you've got your low kick, you've got the high kick. Um, and in case you missed block at the top, they got two times, they say block twice. Block above the button, block below the button. None of the other buttons do that, so it's really random, but I've just noticed this. Um, so yeah, high punch, low punch, low kick, high kick, you know. Um, and what's cool about this is that both the punch buttons are the same color, which are red, very good. Um, and your kick, which is blue, uh, there's both of them are blue. Um, and then your block is white, so it stands out from the bunch. So in case you're uh, one of those people who is like um, likes to remember things by color, um, this becomes very helpful, especially when you're playing uh, a game and you're trying to do a finishing move and you're trying to remember which button's which. And you can remember, you know, uh, well, red button at top, you know, uh, red button at bottom, instead of saying high kick, low punch, and all that stuff makes it very confusing. Especially if you're not a martial artist and you don't really give a shit about the game and you just want to kill your opponent. So it's really cool. Um, the gameplay is what we'll get into in a minute. You got your start button at the top, as you can see above the LED, which tells you that the system's on. You got your start button right here. If you got your uh, Mortal Kombat little stickers, which are very nicely put on, um, a little bit crooked, but it's decent. I'm not asking for expertise. And um, this is actually what do you call plastic, so it's nice too. But like I said, there's an insignia um, from the tournament, which is also this on the actual D-pad in the middle, which is nice. Um, and then as you can see on the outside of it, there's like a design which looks pretty beat up and like, kind of like metal -y, but it's not metal, it's um, plastic, but it looks decent. Um, you've got your reset button up here. Um, one of those kind of reset buttons where you have to actually like get a, like a pen or pencil tip and actually stick it in um, the little, little hole. Um, I don't really understand that concept because who's going to be playing this with a pen on them? Unless you have one of those pocket protectors and you tend to carry around a bunch of shit with you. I mean, there's no one who's going to have a little pen on them to reset it. And anyway, it's a little bit faster for, to actually just turn on and turn off the system. So having a reset button is basically useless. And believe me, there is a reset button here. I don't know if you could see it. Oh, I know the camera's not picking up very well. But you can see the word reset and you can see a little LED. Or well, not an LED, but a little hole that looks sort of like an LED. And then, if you have two players... Um, or two of these controllers, and you plug any kind of what kind of cable is this? It's a, it doesn't say, but it's like an S cable or something like that. It's the multiplayer port on the back, and you get your signature midway on the back. Um, this is a little dirty. I actually need to clean this, but um, you can play two players on here too. So it's not just a one-player game anymore. As long as you have two of these, you can actually play two players, and that's fairly cheap. Because considering the fact that um, pounds you're getting so fifteen much pounds, I picked, I picked this up in Europe. So, but in dollars, I think it would be better uh, at the time, $20. So, um, yeah. I've no idea. You can't actually buy this anymore at the store, as far as I'm aware. Um, but if you do find one of these, pick it up. And so on the back of it, um, you've got a little ba battery hole for, like, a uh, watch battery. Um, I'm not too sure what that does. I think that's your memory. And then you've got batteries here. So this actually stores, like, um, something. I have no idea what it stores. Because um, there's really no way to save... Although, if you unlock the uh, reptile in the game, I guess that's what you would need the uh, saving for, because that's extremely hard. And yes, you can unlock reptile in this game, and he's the only unlockable character in the game. Um, so anyway, there's where your batteries go. Just one little thing, as always, plug and play. It's very simple with that. Um, they almost, almost all of them have only one little you know, screw thing at the back, screw hole. So that's decent. Okay, so we spent enough time actually talking about this. Let's get started with playing it. And I'm putting the mic away, and here we go. Hopefully you can see very well. Very well. So I'm moving away from the mic, let's go. 
Ah, the character I don't want to be. Fuck. This is what I get for pressing too many buttons to hurry it up. Alright, whatever. I don't know any moves with him, though. I'll never be Kano in any game. In part three, he's okay, but only because his co costume is not cool. Shit. Got my ass handed to me. Come on. We can do this. I must say, I don't really like the control pad very much, or the D-pad, whatever this is supposed to be. Um, I know it's helpful, but the little ridges on it actually cut up your fingers. They don't feel very... Oh, she's going to blow me up. No. She... Well, I guess it's close to blowing me up, but she shredded my skin. I haven't played this game in a while. I'm not a big fan of the original, but um, I'll tell you... I actually, no, I'll skip it for a second. I want to go back to it. Uh, will be someone easy. The only characters I know how to do moves with are these ones, so... Liu Kang's the easiest. His finishing moves are 360 on the D-pad, which you're gonna find is very hard on this kind of D-pad. Um, not very comfortable. That I do remember. Oh, let's see, how do we do anything? Do that. Come on. Come on! Oh, I just beat her ass for once. Come on! You're going to lose to a girl? And you lost to a girl again. Well, you, first time for Liu Kang at least, but still. Come on. Get a haircut. One of the two. I know it's the 90s, but that doesn't give you an excuse. Come on. Come on. Come on. God, I hate these controls. Come on. I honestly can. I'm trying my best, and I just can't get anything to work. Maybe it's because I haven't played it in a while, but a lot of the problem is the D-pad. There's so hard to get used to because there's ridges all over this if you can see right there very uncomfortable Ooh, that was cool did you see that i don't know if that was in the original arcade version the uh creators of the game's faces on top of the uh, spikes because i never paid attention yeah that was cool he dropped over so let's show the flips at least so as you can see very helpful with the flips very very helpful Oh, going this way doesn't actually flip him, though. I didn't pay attention to that. Oh, let's try this again. Son of a... Oh, there's one of his moves. I'll just cheat and kick her ass this way. Come on. Uh, don't fly across the room. Attack her. Don't be a fraidy cat. There you go. High kick her to the face. Take this, bitch. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Luke King wins. He's supposed to be. He's Japanese or Asian. He's supposed to be a good fighter. Yes, that's a stereotype, everyone. We all know that. We don't assume that Chinese and Asian people are strong, but we do assume them that they're fast and good fighters. Let's see if we can do the finisher. Come on, come on, come on. Again, that's just stereotypes, and I cannot do it. So do not take too seriously. For any viewers out there that might be of Asian descent, or Asian in some way, or bored in one of these countries, I don't care. It's cool though, but I don't care at the moment. Alright, let's try this again. Come on. There we go, I did something, I threw him. Low punch, right? Yeah, okay. Man, I'm just not getting used to this deep pad. You don't really get enough time to experiment because it's so fucking hard. <laughs> that was cool. Alright, let's try this again. So I can't remember if it's back forward, low punch for this one, or is that the other ones? Is it forward forward, low punch, forward forward, high punch? I forgot. Low, back, whatever. He's not giving me enough chance. Yeah, you know, Sub-Zero wins this fucking asshole. Yeah, we'll go to continue. Ah, uh, Scorpion. Let's see how bad I can be with him. I think his is back back, low punch, right? Oh, back forward, low punch. No? Back back, low punch? There we go. Uh, there we go. Now we look like we know what we're doing, even though we don't. Again, Mortal Kombat 3 was my favourite until um, Deception came out. Uh, after that, I never went back to these old ones, and I don't plan to anytime soon. However, for the DS, they did make a, a good game that I want to pick up, but I had just too cheap to pick it up. So, if anyone knows what I'm talking about, I don't remember which one it is, but it's like a collection of the old games for the DS. With a little bit of the ideas from Deception with the puzzle games. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah! Scorpion wins. Yeah, Scorpion wins, of course. Yellow beats blue. In what nation? In what country? In what world? 
Right, here we go. Here's a stage with a ending. Uh, you know, one of those fatality endings. So. I forget what they're called. Oh, he's gonna kill me now. Come on. Shoot your spear, boy. Of course he does. He's a good fighter. Who's Japanese? Sort of. Chinese, Japanese, whatever it is, I don't know. They never really do establish, or do they? I don't remember at this time. Believe me, I'm a huge fan of uh, Mortal Kombat, though. It's just really the D-pad that really drives me nuts about this game. Yeah, I did the teleport. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Alright, here we go. Still win. Alright. Time burner from strength. Alright, just trying to get to the end. Quick throw. Okay, easy kicks. I'll just cheat and uh, try to beat him a little bit. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's throw the ending fatality. Nice, badass. See, those are the credits, um, or the people that made the games, their faces on the front. No, the test the might stage, great. See how this could. Oh, roll Ah, I pressed the block button on accident. Oh boy. Yeah. So I guess we'll never find out. I guess we can assume it's working. Alright, uh, to reset the game, we can't really do that, but we can quit. Which is actually faster than trying to get out a pin and reset the damn thing, so. Fairly fast. Uh, who haven't really seen that I want to play with? Oh, we didn't get to see Johnny Cage. So, one of the things you're going to really notice about this game is the sound. It's not very good. And now, it's, it, it could be because I'm recording off a TV, you would think, right? No. In person, it really doesn't sound that great at all. If anything, it sounds better over the uh, computer than it does... Uh, or ...than it would in real persons. Real life. Real persons. Sorry about that. It's loud, man. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very loud. It's not very appealing to the ears, nor does it sound anything like the arcade game. The audio quality is terrible, and it reminds me a lot of the NES game, if anything. I don't know how to do this. Yeah, that worked too. Just, yeah, say yeah, and he falls. Or touch his face, or whatever he did. Oh boy, this is starting to bother me. Just because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Alright, try to do one move with him. Just one move. One move. That's all I'm asking, one move. Can I do anything? It's damn deep, pad I know the... See, it's not that I don't know the moves so much, it's that I don't like the controls, because I jump when I'm not trying to jump. It doesn't make any sense. It's a fucking rubbish, completely. I don't like this. The controller does look nice, though, and that's one of the things. I really like this game because it's easy to plug in, it's fast, it's affordable, and also the, the cool looking control with the D-pad, but it just doesn't play very well. And the sound quality is very, very unappealing, because there is only two cables to the system. The yellow cable, AV cable, and the white AV cable, so you're getting a mono sound and not a stereo sound. It's not very appealing at all. So even playing this game on the NES would be a step up because you'd actually get a full AV cable or an S-Video cable or whatever they used to use because what was an AV cable but again I'm not a big NES fan either so there's something else I didn't tell you guys I'm not big into the NES or Super NES or all those games however I do like series of games I usually use emulation to play which is not illegal since I do have ports of the games and I don't care if I've already bought them once, there's no sense in buying them again. Alright, so, let's see the countdown. If you press any button, does this. Okay, cool. So, that was that. Um, let's just let's see the producers again, whatever. So, again, one more thing I just want to say about this system. Affordable, yes. Um, looks nice, yes. Good to put on the shelf. It looks very appealing. Uh, they did make part two of this. They didn't make three on a controller, but they did make... Mortal Kombat 1 and Mortal Kombat 2 on the controllers. Um, I was going to pick up part 2 and I never got around to it. I have no idea why. Um, I'm going to also be adding two more games of these to my collection. Uh, stuff I've already bought but they're at the other house. Um, I actually might review one of them. Uh, one of them is a Spongebob game and I actually have two of those. I'm trying to find the other one. Um, but don't be shocked. Uh, they're actually pretty cool games and I want to go into it a little bit. You'd be surprised. A uh, Spongebob game can be pretty deal, a uh, good game for even an adult. 
um, maybe not one for maturity games, but one who's in the um, uh, mood for a puzzle game or something. Anyway, decent system. Um, for audio quality, uh, it's a very low three. Um, as for controls, it's probably a two. Uh, the buttons are about the only thing that are very comfortable. Oh, sorry, very comfortable if the controller. Um, as for the D-pad, that can probably go in the garbage. Um, the insignia is what makes me like the D-pad, and just that it looks presentable from a distance. Um, but other than that, it's not very good. Um, one of the things I didn't mention is there's it is quite bulky and it is very heavy. Uh, this is about a five pound, three, four, or five pound uh, controller. It's heavier than a microphone by far. Uh, my S, uh, with the microphone I'm talking into right now, which is a Beta Short 87A, um, is way lighter than this, and that's a three hundred dollar mic. This is twenty dollars plastic, and it's very, very heavy. Reason for it are the batteries and the shape of the controller actually make it seem heavier due to the fact of the way it's curved in. So when you're playing, you actually have to hold it like this. Um, and in compared to like a PlayStation controller, NES controller, or anything, and then going to this, oh god, that's that's berserk. It it really is. Pick up an NES controller, then pick up this. Ugh, yeah. Compared to the two, it doesn't really match up. Um, one other complaint is the fact that um, I was going to say um, the fact that there's not really any blood in the game. So it's just as censored as the uh, NES version or the Nintendo version of the game. Um, but it's it's almost the same. I mean, it really is. Um, and when I'm saying NES, I do mean uh, the Super Nintendo. For anyone out there who's going to criticise that, um, sorry about that uh, for the confusion factor. Anyway. I would say if you're going to go for Mortal Kombat 1 or any of the Mortal Kombat series games and you don't want to get it on a PlayStation, get it for the Genesis, get it for something like that. Um, the Genesis version always prevails. Uh, obviously the PlayStation 1 for the Part 3 game. Um, we'll get into the difference between the Part 3's game and the arcade version of the game uh, later on in one of my other reviews, hopefully one day. But um, okay, bye. I wouldn't pick it up for too much money. It's good. It's good buy. Um, you might even want to keep it sealed in a box and just put it on display because the box was quite nice, even though I ripped it to shreds. Can't show it, so sorry about that. It just took up too much shelf space. Anyway, that was the Mortal Kombat One controller plug and play. Take care, everyone.